What's going on? This is your boy Greg with a YouTube video. We're going to play NBA 2K, 2K16. But before we get into it, a quick shout out over to my sponsors over at G2A. If you like great games at great prices, go check them out. The top link in the description is below. That being said, let's jump right into it. Slam dunk. Oh, you got to do this in the game, freak. Not that. That freak. That. That's what you gotta do. Come on, freak. Pull out the list. The Golden State Warriors. It fell. I shot that one. Get going. Fuck it. Oh, here. Uh, Andrew, man, I'm just sorry. I'm just shooting around for a while, bro. Until I what the fuck kind of do I got? Oh wow, 2,144 points. Uh, I'm about to jump into some uh, NBA games, so. Oh, okay, well, I have to go. Well, have to go. Alright, big boss. What's up? Hey, what's up? Oh, wait, I lost to, uh... Oh, I lost to these fools last game. Sports pregame show. Gonna pick up the phone. Johnson, welcoming you to the NBA the on 2K phone. Sports. I'm here with Shaq and the Jet. Tonight, it'll be the Golden State Warriors going up against the Phoenix Suns. Well, for the Suns, the game tonight marks their second of four meetings they will play this season, and they come into this one feeling pretty good after winning the last time they met. And the clock ticking down to tip off. Kenny, you won two championships, might I remind you, oh, uh, back to back. Uh, explain to us the makeup of a champion. Well, and not the makeup you're wearing, right yeah. now, but wear. the makeup of a championship. Uh, however, number one is to believe. You have to believe. No, I've been playing zombies for a while. In your teammates. Trust is the most important thing. And most people think trust comes from. On the I'm on this basketball game real quick. You got NBA 2K. I don't play this game real quick. It's the NBA, and it's live right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me, Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and courtside, Doris Burke. And Clark, we won't be seeing Jordan Hill, who is injured. Kevin, he went down the last game, and he's not available in this one. But from the injury report, it appears as though he'll be back soon. Yeah, that, that's right. They're not sure exactly how much time he'll need, but they don't think it's too serious. Looking at the starting five for the Phoenix Suns. Collis Stein is out there with Patrick Patterson. Then it's Cunningham. 
Then there's Bledsoe, and it's Booker in at the three slot. Now here's Green. Freak kicks to Bogut. Takes a three. And it's Ooh. Freak missing. Here's Cunningham. And he overshot that one, missing. Igudala with it. The feed to Freak. Thompson outside. Thompson, I was open, Thompson. Freak dishes to Thompson. Let's it fly from 18. It's hauled in by the Saints. Their last encounter was in Phoenix. A huge margin of victory for them when these two teams squared off last, and they got scoring from up and down their lineup. Yeah, the reserves, the guys coming off the bench, Greg, made their presence felt. And of course, with their big lead, they were able to give the bench a lot of run. And a wide open look for Freak. The shot's good on the assist by Igudala. Freak's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Sons have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And what so? Here we go. Shot is off. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. Yeah, ran away with that game, mm. mainly in part because of their offense. Yeah, the ball movement and player movement. So crisp and sharp, and it led to a lot of high-quality shots for him. Here's Patterson. Cannot hit. Great D that time from Higudala. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shoot the fellow off and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you Damn. go inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it, he, he made it look easy that time. Thompson passes the freak. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Freak's got seven points in the game. Damn, I'm good. On the inside, hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. The Phoenix Suns come into this one after the win against the Los Angeles Lakers. And the way they attacked the basket in that game was unreal. I mean, after a while, the defenders seemed to just wave the white flag. Yeah, like you said, I mean, that's what will happen when a team can attack the basket and come away with layups. The defense tends to get demoralized and deflated. Here is Bloodson following the basket by Draymond Green to the wing on the left. Here's Booker. Rebounded by Bogut. I didn't see that miss coming. Mm. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. Here's Thompson. The shot is off. Well, so Thompson, why? With it. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Good. Patterson's got his first bucket in this one. Oh, I love that dish down low. Now here's Bogut. Guarded close. And the shot no good, a bit short. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Here is Cunningham. He's covered by Igudala. Cunningham's shot is off. And you know what? That's one of those he's taking shots like that. Yeah, he check or not. I don't care how hot he may or may not be. He's not making a 32-point game for him in the win against Memphis. Trail by three. 143 left to play in the first quarter. Out of bounds. Suns ball is fierce. Golden State when they let it fly from downtown. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. Motherfucker. Patterson. Ludzo is out there with Booker. Then there's Cauley Stein. And it's Cunningham into the small four. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Grizzlies was simply terrific. He dropped in 32 points and was effective from long range as he got that scoring line by dropping in a good amount of threes. He had a great game in all facets, and his coach called it a complete game of basketball. High praise to be sure, guys. Great, Doris. Thanks. Any chance we see him top that performance right here tonight? You know, no. I can't imagine he'd be able to pull off that kind of an outing two games in a row. But, hey, that's what the truly great ones are capable of doing. Boy, even if he came close to matching it, that would be really impressive. But I tell you, that's asking an awful lot of one guy. 
Phoenix no good that time either. Boy, they're fortunate. The defense was taking a big chance leaving him that wide open behind the arc. Fires from deep. It's oh. Cunningham with the rebound. Suns leading by five. Now the pass to Bledsoe. Bledsoe with another miss. The Warriors have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. A floater and Freak with the layup. Freak's got 11 points. That's a precision shot. You've got to be precise. No room for error on the floater. Bledsoe outside. Patterson. And the Suns miss again. Boy, but he was close, Kevin, to making the defense pay for lackadaisical coverage there. Yeah, you may not be as lucky next time down if you're the defense. You cannot allow him to get those kinds of looks. And you know what? His finishing ability is not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Boga kicks to Freak. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Warriors trail by four. Thompson dishes to Freak. From deep. Oh, bitch. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. Booker with it. Picked up by Thompson. And Patterson kicks to Bledsoe. Here's Thompson. And the bucket counts. Yeah. He's on his way to the free throw. Oh, shit, Thompson. And so it's a close. Good shit, Thompson. Okay, guys, we got a few minutes here. Let's go over a few things before we get going again. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. What a performance from Bledsoe here. He has 17 points, and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those. And, and you can't undervalue which team wins the free throw battle. Green at the four with Bogut at the five. Thompson and Iguodala on the perimeter. And, it, and both free throws good from Freak. The Suns leading. Pass to Patterson. It's stolen by Bogut. Oh. Here's Igudala and two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the ball. Right. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. The free throw drops for Igudala. That one drops. He ties it up. Here's Bledsoe. Down low. Crawley Stein kicks to Patterson. Drops in the tray. Patterson's got five. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Shot on the wing. Crawley Stein grabs the board. Well, I think he kind of alligator arm that one. Short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. Here's Booker, and so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Yeah, good job to take it right at the deep. Yeah, really left him no choice there, Greg. He had to foul and keep him from converting the easy bucket. Both free throws good from Booker. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. Freak passes to Green. Golden State moving it around. He feeds it to Freak. Thompson up top. 
In the corner, it's Freak. Over to the wing. Screen by Bogut to the paint. And with that, the Phoenix leaders cut down now to just three on the basket from Freak. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last game, he was on fire. The Warriors shooting well. They're at 45%. Iguodala dishes to Freak. Releases. Can't get it to go. Bledsoe with a defensive effort. Suns lean by six. He kicks it to Cunningham. Stein passes oh, I thought it was a steal, but one. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Cunningham's got eight. And we're seeing the shots start to fall for them now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this has been an extremely efficient second half for them up Oh, my God. Still a bit chilly from the field at the start of this third quarter. One of four so far. Pass to Booker. Patterson, the screen. From past the arc, Cunningham's shot is off. And that's not the best of shot selection there. The defense definitely won that possession. Yeah, I think in that case, you've got to go elsewhere with the ball. You just can't mm. rise up over the top of him when he's on you. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Booker, and it's Phoenix scoring again. And defensively, they've gotten a little careless, not playing with the same focus we saw in the first. Oh. Well, a chance to check out Andre Iguodala. Oh. He performed last season. Last season, put up about seven points a game. Three assists and three rebounds. And guys, no question, he's a guy with some talent. But, but honestly, even he'd like to see those numbers improve. And all indications are that he's been working hard on his game. It just hasn't shown up in the box score yet. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. And the Suns also making a change. Smith has checked in. The Warriors have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And just to mention, a season ago, they were very comfortable at the line, hitting about 78% of their free throws. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. And the Suns making a change here. Pekovic has checked in. No good from Bloodsoe. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over it. And Thompson kicks the Freak. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. 19 points for Freak. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And I'd be interested to know just how many of these attempts have come from inside of five feet. Here is Cunningham. Eight points for him. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Here's Freak. And he gets the jumper to drive. Freak's got eight here in the quarter. And Phoenix has possession. They've led by as much as 10. Following this one, they get to host the Mavericks. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Here's Cunningham. Nails the 16 foot. Yeah. Cunningham's got 10 points. Yes, Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Thompson dishes to Freak. This one for three. Rebounded by Pekovic. Pekovic has got six rebounds in the game. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. Cunningham gets the bucket. And now an 11-point Suns lead. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their pass. Three and another basket for Golden State. Nice pass. He got the ball right into his teammate's shooting pocket. On time and on target. And here's Bledsoe, who's got 20. Pekovic attacking, and that one's good. Pekovic has got his first points of the night. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. And um, that's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They decided not to take oh. as many three-pointers in this half. Thompson against Bledsoe. Here's Pekovic. No luck. Nice D from Bogut. Warriors trail by 11. Here's Thompson. 
Cauley Stein grabs the board. Cauley Stein's got his fourth rebound in this one. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean. So it's Phoenix now on the court for the Suns. Here's Booker. And it's off from three-point range. Warriors shooting well. They're at 45%. Left side Hardaway. Golden State moving it around. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Phoenix. Fellas, it's impossible to ignore what a good job they've done at the free throw line throughout the game. And also, their mid-range game has been impressive. A, a tough shot to rely upon, but they really had it going tonight. Andre Iguodala, he's checked in for the Warriors. Inside, here's Semenko, and he oh, man, is that. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. And so it's Golden State with it. They trail by nine points. To the middle, there's Freak. Some solid defense from Knight. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. A three-pointer off the mark. You can't get into much better position for the three than that. Everything was right on target. It just didn't fall. And it's Freak missing. It's been a real difficult game for him offensively, and it's cost him. Kicks to Knight. All alone. And he hits the jump shot. Patterson's got the lead up to 11 now for Phoenix. Really good awareness right there on the assist. Now, Freak. Livingston passes to Freak. And here's Green outside. That trucks. Green's got four this quarter. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Outside Knight, Patterson, the screen. Now here's Booker, D right on him. Knight, wide open, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Oh, dude. Green kicks to Livingston. Green, the screen, to the right side. Here's Freak. That drops, and it comes Freak. off the assist from Livingston. Livingston's got three assists tonight. Phoenix leading by six. Knight dishes to Patterson. Feeds it to Booker. Here's Knight. Again, the miss by Knight. And with room like that off the pick, you have got to knock that one down. Well, you know, they did everything right, Greg. They executed. All you want is a good look at the basket. Sometimes the shots just don't fall. For Phoenix, they've gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Booker the pass tonight. Ah, oh, fuck. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on free. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. Some changes for Golden State. Bogut comes in for Barnes. And it's Clay Thompson in for Sean Livingston. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Corner shot. Kept alive. That's in, and the Suns lead is cut down now to just three on the bucket from Bogut. Well, they left it until the fourth quarter, but finally the run they needed to get back into this. I didn't think it was going to happen for them, quite honestly, but they finally turned it on, turned it up a little bit. Now they've got to come up with some stops. A nice shot by Booker. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Golden State's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. There's Freak. The rebound by Patterson. Mm. Patterson's got rebound number five here tonight. The shooting oh, is just aren't the points. there yet in the quarter. The dish to Begovic. The eight-footer. The Warriors pull it in. Bogut's got six rebounds in the game. Iguodala kicks to Freak. The trade. Warriors the rebound. Passes it to Bogut. On the wing, Iguodala. To the paint. 
Here's Freak. Booker pulls it in. Mm. Not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but the rebounding battle is too. Extremely close on the board. It's been brutal in terms of the physicality down low. So whose fan is that? Yeah, I know. Some changes for Phoenix. Holy Stein comes in for Nikola Pekovic. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Knight. 151 left to play in the final quarter. Iguodala dishes to Thompson. Bogut sets a screen for Thompson. Now here's Freak. Guarded mm. by Bledsoe. In the corner, it's Patterson. Tries again. And there's the nice layup by Cauley Stein. And the defense just gets caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance opportunity. You know, that just can't happen. They need much more effort than that on the glass. Can't get anything to drop. I mean, the way he's going, it's probably not something he should try and shoot his way out of. <laughs> well, they say you should shoot your way out of it, but his teammates probably have other thoughts in mind. The last thing they want to see him doing is continuing to cast that jumper up. And clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight, albeit as exciting as that would be. This was an excellent all-around performance for Phoenix. Clark free throws were a big factor in this one. Yeah, you know what? It's great to get to the line, Kevin, but the other half of that is you've got to convert, and they did that. And ever win important, and this one will go down as win number three. And talk about applying pressure to an opponent. Tonight's win will move their record to 2-0 and in the season series with two more games left to play on their year against the Warriors. And you have to look back at this and see the huge game it was for Eric Bledsoe. You look at the energy he brought on both ends of the floor, and it's easy to see why he was a difference maker. And it's the Warriors' ball. A 12-point game. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. Not the kind of pass you want to be making right there. He's lucky it wasn't stolen. Four turnovers. They're on an 11-2 run. Here's Peck. The layup missed. And it would take divine intervention for them now to get back in it. And even that might not be enough. Greg, what do you think? Yeah, I'd have to say, guys, I don't think the man upstairs is really focused on a comeback. Now here's Bloodzoe. So it's the Suns winning easily here. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Damn, man. What's up with y'all niggas? Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan oh, player of the game, Eric Bledsoe. Talk about lighting it up in the second quarter. My word, that was just huge. And the impact carried them through the entire game. He shot over 50% from the field in the game, a testament to how hard he worked to always find the best look possible. I got points in him. Constant and that'll do it for tonight for Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious two. Why couldn't their defense find a way to stop you tonight? They suck. Boom. I was too good. Because I'm a freaking force of nature on the offensive end. Get it? Freaking? Uh, anyways, it takes an army to stop me the way I was feeling it tonight. And trust me, they weren't no army. Are you getting the ball as much as you'd like out there? Honest answer? No. I'm not. I feel like we're a better team when I have the ball in my hands because of the way I create. <laughs> Give me the ball, 
and the winds will follow. So have the early stages mm. with the new team been everything you hoped it would be? I feel great. Well, it's no secret I've wanted to be here for a long time. And I gotta say, it feels great. This is just the first game of many, and I know we're gonna do some big things here. Anything less than a championship will be considered a failure by me, so I hope y'all ready. Because I'm about to take my game to a whole nother level. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Is that all? All right, cool. Peace. Do we have a dollar? He's almost spent it with her. Oh. Games we lost. Lost one, two. Oh, we all lost two games. Who wants me to go? Damn. The Lakers want me, dude. Send sixes. Set interest. Less interested. The Phoenix Suns. <laughs> they don't want me at all. Not a fucking percent. Play against them. Stick to it, Curry. It's the Sports Preview Show. Hello and welcome, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. We're glad to have you with us on Tuesday's <clears throat> tip off coming up shortly from Oracle Arena as the Golden State Warriors will be going up against the Sacramento Kings. And guys, for the Kings, they'll be up for this game facing the team that defeated them in the conference semis last season. This is one they've been waiting for. After fighting so many battles to keep the Kings in Sacramento, they are set to open up a new arena for the start of next season. Shaq, uh, you've been involved with the Kings. Um, how big was this for the city? Well, it firmly establishes the Kings in Sacramento for years to come. Excuse me, Sacramento. Uh, the design is great. It's going to be the first drop-top arena indoor outdoor arena it's gonna be fabulous i can't wait yeah I, I mean it's gonna be great i mean unfortunately the house that kenny built is going down you know but uh it's a new state of art arena downtown so uh, i've actually seen the construction of it i kind of i talked to kevin johnson the mayor about it so this is going to be a great great uh, rejuvenation for us <laughs> one of the more excuse me Sacramento. Sacramento. one of the more self-serving segments we've ever done <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in
It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. The Warriors with their last game here in Golden State before heading out on the road. Story here, Andre Iguodala injured Clark and unable to play. Well, it's going to be a few weeks until he's back, but that's not as bad as it could have been. It could have been much worse. In the end, given the way it looked when he was helped off the court last game, I think he'd consider that good news. I don't think there's any doubt. You know, when you watch that live, that injury seemed to be far worse. So, What's up, monkey? Small Not much. Comfort for him having to sit Playing some basketball. Out, but hopefully he'll be back soon. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. On the court right now for the Kings. We've got Rudy Gay. McCray is out there with Clarkson. And there's Bennett. And it's Cousins in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. He's got so much junk in his trunk, he'll find a way to hurt you. Here's Freak. Yeah. Rebound by the Kings. Fresh from a win against the Nuggets. A, a really an emphatic win for them, especially considering... What's up? I'm playing my career. It came in an opponent's building, and there's no question it was their offense. Oh, this motherfucker. I love the way they win. The finish. This game, Greg. I mean, they attacked at every opportunity, never relaxed or sat back, and as a result, they eventually pulled away. The Kings have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Sacramento shooting their first free throws of the night. And one of the weaker areas for this group only shot about 71% from the line a season ago. Yeah, a, as a group, really a dismal year for them Curry. on the line last season, guys. Oh, Curry. Now here's Curry. And shot on the way. And that's off the glass and in. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Now, here's Clarkson. Down low, it's stolen by Green. Stolen. Damn. Feeds to Gay. High, arcing shot, and that's two points on the layup. How about that cloth soft touch? I mean, just a gentle little teardrop, almost like a falling leaf. A leaf falling down slowly to the ground. Very sweet and colorful, too. Looking at the last game for the Golden State Warriors, it was a loss to the Suns. And despite the outcome, I think they'll feel a little better about that game. There are a lot of positives that they can take away from that performance. And I think that's exactly what they have to do, guys. Don't dwell on the final score. You know, think about the things you did well and move forward and take it from there. Curry. It's your Curry. The they really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Clarkson up top. He's covered by Thompson. And Thompson sends it back. Hold on. Curry kicks to Thompson. Curry passes the freak. Can't oh, it, yeah. And it's the king. What are you saying? Ah, uh, yeah. He's taking it the other way. This touch has disappeared on him this quarter. He just hasn't bit. been able to get it going. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Andrew Bogut. Come on, Bogut? Buscala, he's checked in for the Warriors. Then for the Kings, Miami comes in for Anthony Bennett. And it's Collison in for Jordan Clarkson. Here's McCray. Mahimi lays it up and banks it in. Mahimi's got his first Stop. basket of the night. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage. Why am I missing? He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. A drive by Collison. No good. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. There's Freak. But they get it back. Green dishes to Freak. A second chance effort. 
and it comes off the front of the rim. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Collison against Thompson. The drive by Collison. Now in the scoring column with that deuce. One for two this game. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. And it's the Kings with the ball. Check. Score no more. State to the inside. Here's McCray. So the whistle blows on the shot. Oh. Two goals for the contact right there. And Damn, my first star of the game. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Muscala. Carry on the field, I can barely get any points. Checked in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And Steph Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. And the Kings will go for a different look here. Demarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Mahini. Bennett comes in for P.J. Tucker. Rudy Gay's checked in for each one more. And it's Clarkson in for Darren Collison. Where do you think Curry with me? They got like the ball. Bennett is up there with Demarcus Cousins. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Rudy Gay. And it's McCray in at the two. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Well, Kev, Freak in the last matchup against the Suns played really well. He dropped in 26 points and flashed his range a few times in the process. A bit of a surprise attack for him as he is usually just regarded as a role player on his team. And Doris, thank you so much. He couldn't have been much better in that game, could he, G? Not at all. He was great. I mean, that's for sure. If I was holding that. That was funny. I was all of. was awfully close. Guys, he came to compete and win. Let's hope he's got that same attitude, that same energy, that same swag here tonight. They set Six the pick. points in the points in quarter. Clarkson passes to Bennett. Clarkson kicks to Cousins. No good from the wing. Golden State's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. The drive by Thompson and a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. I'm on the left wing. So it's not the left wing. Quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Cousins with a screen on Thompson. Here's Clarkson. An easy layup after coming off the pit. Clarkson's got four points now in the quarter. It, it really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Mm, and it's freaking so wide. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Gay with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. Gay kicks to Clarkson. Curls it from outside. Clarkson's got the lead up to two now for the Kings. And, and he has really come to life here after a slow start. Curry's on the ball. Curry dishes to Freak. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Freak's got nine. What a job he's doing here. I mean, his second quarter has been even better than his first. And that was pretty good. On the gay, and that one's good. The lead changes hands once more. There has been no separation between these two teams. You know, it's made for one heck of an entertaining game. Even when it hasn't been the best basketball being played, it sure has been fun to watch. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. Sacramento's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Screen by Cousins. 112 left to play in the first half. Shot clock at six. Dishes it to Bennett. Gay outside. Puts it up. The shot no good. Curry was a nice D. You know, not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but the rebounding battle is too. Extremely close on the board. It's been brutal in terms of the physicality down low. 51 seconds left to play here in the half. And it's Gay at the elbow. Cousins inside, guarded by Green. And then Cousins with the dunk. Oh, and what a gutty play. I mean, muscles his way to the rebound and then just pounds it home for the footback. Well said, G.A. The battle oh, of the bitch, board is going to go a long way toward deciding this game. You know, and if that play is in the indication, that's a battle they're willing to put every ounce of their energy into winning. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. They're pushing them all. 
Jackson with the ball. 17 oh. points for him oh. last game against the Nuggets in Denver. Yeah, but his shot blocking was a factor as well. Three on the game, just a major presence on the D. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. And the first half cup. talk about from what I've seen so far. This is a tight ball game, but remember, this is our house. The amount of scoring we got from close range was great. Keep looking to make those quick... Okay, man, put your hands together. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go, having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And checking out the game for free. 13 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. Green at the four with Bogut at the five. Steph Curry's out there with Freak, and it's Thompson in at the three slot. That's the Warriors' five. And there's the three-second violation. While we have a chance, let's now take a look at the teams that top the league in shooting from beyond the arc. Number five, the Warriors. I guess time will tell if they can repeat that level of success from a year ago when they were one of the best long-distance shooting teams in the league. To the inside, Freak. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Well, I was about to say, I was about to get married. For Freak. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Clarkson passes to Gay. Baseline J on the way, and again it's Sacramento converting. I like the recognition Stop of converting. the there, immediately making the defense pay. The pass to Freak. Green kicks to Bogut. Thompson outside for the three. DeMarcus Cousins comes up with the rebound. Cousins has got six rebounds here tonight. Clarkson with the ball. Picked up by Thompson. Second chance shot, and the layup is good. Bennett's got the lead up to two now for Sacramento. No matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball in the paint. And it's a big key thus far in this game, Clark, because whenever they've gotten the ball in the paint, good things have happened. And it's freak missing. For Sacramento, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Marks and dishes to gain. And the shot is long. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Outside Green. Freak passes to Curry. He dishes it to Green. From outside, off the mark. Sacramento's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's McCray. Pass to Clarkson. Right wing. 20 feet out. And Cousins gets it to go. And now a four-point Kings lead. He's got some serious momentum going right now. He's been great all day. Even last he was still on fire. Different look here for the Warriors. Muscala, he's checked in for Bogut. Smith comes in for Green. We've got 123 left in the third. And Cole kicks to Collison. Don't oh, suck. <laughs> Pass to Cole. He feeds it to Tucker. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Warriors trail by nine. And a wide open look for free. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Sacramento's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. And Cole kicks it to Tucker. Wide open shot is on the money. Tucker's got his second bucket. Well, it's gone back and forth for a while here, but they're really starting to push out. They're looking good right now. There's Freak. 
And the Warriors miss again. Oh, I thought that ball. Out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over. Come on. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Collison dishes to Tucker. Here's Cole. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. A drive by Collison. Misses the chippy right there. Well, through three points. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Kings oh. leading now by 11. On the floor for Sacramento. Rudy Gay is out there with Mahini. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. And it's McCray in at the two guard. Warriors shooting the ball at 42%. Here's Freak. Off the mark there with the three point shot. And he has slipped into a funk, Clark. You can see the confidence is shaken. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he's very much deflated. Uh, the basket looks a lot smaller to him at this point, and the only way you can get out of it is to work yourself out of it. Anthony Bennett's checked in for Sacramento. Anthony Bennett. Curry kicks to Freak. Looking to end his cold spell. And it's Gay with the rebound. Gay's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And you know what? He's just not on. On his game, no doubt about it. They're deaf. How do you just submit it? Some point. There you go. This one. All right, boy. Let's go broke. It's the Go. 2K Sports pregame show. Hey there, and thank you for joining us on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. This NBA season didn't take long to get interesting, but these two gentlemen have always captured our interest. Say hello to Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Hello, Kenny. Hey, how are you? Hello, Shaq. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Los Angeles Clippers at Staples Center. For Los Angeles, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. Well, as we know, the value of great outside shooting perhaps never higher than it is right now. Kenny, in your mind, who are the premier shooters in the game? I'll tell you, it's obvious that the Splash Brothers, you know, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, top two guys shooting the basketball. Kyle Korver is right up there. An undervalued, underrated shooter, Carmelo Anthony. Stop it. You Shoot, named Carmelo before you named Dirk Nowitzki, before oh, you named true. Damian Lillard, before you named Kevin Durant. 
I'll even put Jose Calderon. Oh, before. you're kidding me. Over there, over there, over there. from the Staples Center in beautiful downtown Los Angeles as the Clippers prepare to take the floor. Well, it was the Golden State Warriors in their last game, a loss to Sacramento. You know, guys, you hate to get embarrassed on your home court, but that's exactly what happened. It was a tough loss for them. The, the inability to, to make threes in that game because they took a lot of them, I think, is why they ended up on the short end of the stick. Yeah, they did take a bunch of them. Sometimes you can make up for four three-point shooting so, with a strong inside game. But their inside game just wasn't strong enough. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, Freak in a two guard. Thompson is out there with Green. Then it's Curry. And it's Muscala in at the five down low. Wow, got that one off right in the face of the big fella. Nice quick fire release. Yeah, and the mid-range shot really the only option in that situation. Sometimes when you're facing a bigger guy, you can't get it all the way to the rim. There's the bucket good. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? Unloads from 13. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Freak's got his second bucket of the night. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Ball kicks to Griffin. And the wide open shot from Reddick. And again, it's the Clippers from deep. And really, he came into the game with that long range shot looking great. Boy, he could wind up with a crazy number of threes today. Offensive rebound. And Griffin sends it back. Al Paul, 17 points for him last game against Dallas. And he also was a table setter in that game, Kevin. Just an amazing job with his passing. Just a joy to watch that one. Snatched up. Monroe, no good. Boy, I tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Curry passes to Freak. Nice D from Griffin. The Clippers have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Paul outside. He feeds it to Griffin. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes. Jump. Left, and he uses the glass on the layup. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. And he gets the bucket. Excellent feed from Steph Curry. Los Angeles leading by four. Reddick with it. He's got nine. Ball outside. And it's blocked. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. And it's freak missing. Clippers have gone 50% from the field to this point. Four of eight. To the paint. Here's Reddick. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Reddick's got 11 points. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. The shot's good from Paul. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. There's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Now here's Freak. And pushing it up. Here's the Clippers. Here's Reddick. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Here's Freak. And the Warriors miss again. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. And the pass to Griffin. Another one falls for the Clippers. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win 
surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. So, for the Clippers, Spates. And it's the Clippers with the ball. They've led by as much as 10. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. Yeah, but they didn't roll over in that game. Had a good chance still to pull out the victory. Just couldn't come through in crunch time. Greg, I thought it was a solid effort from them all the way around. I mean, but there, as you and I know, moral victories are kind of empty consolation prize. More the class, brother. They've got C.J. Miles. J.J. Redick is out there with Weber. Then there's Maurice Spates, and it's Monroe in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Well, Kev, Freak, in the last matchup against the Kings, played some good basketball. He finished with 19 points, but also put up four boards. We could see his role in this offense expand if he puts together more games like this one, guys. Thank you, Doris. He was the player they uh, leaned on that night. He didn't disappoint him. Not at all. Came in a big way. Whatever they needed from him. Well, I think he actually gave them a little more than what they needed. Terrific all-around effort. So he comes up empty at the line. Warriors trail by seven. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Los Angeles has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. And the Clippers miss again. In the first quarter, he was killing them from outside. But he can't get it going here. Nobody near Barnes. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see that kind of unselfishness. Really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. Redick is in the corner. Damn. Trains the three-pointer. Redick's got five points now this quarter. Now he's starting to pick up from what he accomplished in the first quarter, where he made three of his three-point attempts. Curry dishes to Freak, fires the three, takes the shot. Basket number four this game brings him up to four for nine. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take him long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. Spates sets a screen. Weber with it, and Curry picks him up defensively. Spates sets a screen for Reddit. No luck, and it's the Warriors taking it the other way. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. Yeah, and very tough to beat when they're playing up to their capabilities. That's why they're one of the top teams in the league. Now Monroe, following the three-point attempt by Freak. Spates kicks to Monroe, and that one's good. Boy, he picked him out brilliantly with that feed inside. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Curry against Weber. And a wide open look for Freak. It's good from long range. Freak's got 12. In the first, he had trouble hitting with any consistency. But here in the second, he's turned it around. Weber kicks to Reddick. Now, here is Monroe. He's tightly guarded. And again, the Clippers good for two. Warriors trail by four. Curry passes to Freak. Back to Curry. In the corner, it's Freak. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fifth assist in this one. Textbook. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better finish. Weber dishes to Spates. 11 feet away. Rebound by Muscala. Muscala's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Barnes. It's good. This game is all even. Barnes has got four points this quarter. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Here's Spates. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Not a good idea 
to let him get such good position in the paint. It's more than a bad idea. It's real trouble. I mean, he'll make that 10 out of 10 times. And that one's good. Freak. And he's now made three three-pointers here in the second, starting to get it going. Pass to Reddick. He dishes it to Spates. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And Clark, they might yeah. as well keep doing it. I mean, attack the basket yes. until the defense makes an adjustment. He's got it going here in the second, gaining momentum as this game continues to go. The shot by Reddick, no good. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Curry kicks to Freak. Can he keep it going? And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Different look here for the Warriors. Andrew Bogut checked in for Mike Muscala. Green comes in for Barnes. Hardaway's checked in for Thompson. And it's Livingston in for Curry. Clippers trail by four. There's 45 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Paul outside in the corner. Stop. Ah, and the three off target. Golden State's gone six of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Yeah. Out of bounds. The Clippers take possession. Clippers ball. Here's Paul. He kicks it to Snell. Screen by Monroe. Paul with the three. And that one's good. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. Nice physicality displayed by Monroe. Oh, Paul, to set me. that shot up. Feeds to Freak. Lets it go with the three. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Now from outside, no good. <clears throat> and a pretty tough. Well, thank you, Kev. Yo, yo, yo. All right, listen up, everybody. The yo, second yo, half yo. doesn't have to be as close as the first if we pay attention to a couple of things. For the most part, we played an intelligent first half. Our passing has been critical. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. Talk about yeah, great numbers one. for free. He has 20 points, and from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Well, when he squared himself up and gotten down, down, he's knocked him down. And on the floor, oh, he he's stupid. <laughs> Freak, he's in a shooting guard. Draymond Green is out there with Muscala, and there's Clay Thompson, and it's Curry in at the point. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over him. Now here's Freak, covered by Reddick. And it's Freak missing. That's not a sight you see very often. I mean, he has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. Paul with the bucket. Great way to start to have easy layup against some soft D. Kicks to Freak. Some nice passing by Golden State here. Inside. Takes the 13-footer. He squares up and sinks it. Freak's got 22 points. Clark, third quarter here and five lead changes so far. Yeah, it's really been a bit of a tug of war. Back and forth we go. And guys, neither team has been able to pull away. Pick by Griffin. They set the pick. Here's Miles. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Miles has got his first points in this one. Okay. Now let's see some numbers here on Steph Curry. Last year, getting it done. Put up about 16 points, five assists, and three rebounds. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. 
Yeah, yeah, and anytime this club needs a bucket, he's their go-to. Just irrepressible and a prolific score. Fuck. Los Angeles making a switch here. Spates is checked in. Paul kicks to Spates from deep miles. The Warriors pull it in. Passes it to Thompson. Fuck you, Thompson. Terrific assist and mm -hmm. nice finish. Solid play all around. Guys, One of three. Really unstoppable. He poses a ton. Fucking Thompson, though. For whomever he's facing. The shot by Reddick, no good. And that's the shot he has to take. Exactly. That's the right look. The decision was good. He just didn't execute. Dishes it to Paul. The feed to Reddick. From outside the arc, made that one as his seventh of the contest, seven for 15 from the floor. Neither side has relented a bit in this back and forth affair. Well, eight lead changes, Kevin, so far as the teams are battling it out here in the third. And you can sense the energy in the building already as this is starting to build. It's okay. having a terrific finish. Now, Miles, following the three point attempt by Freak. Ball against Curry. Curry with the steal. Pass to Freak. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Boy, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. They've got a battle inside. It has been a battle, and maybe they're starting to just run out of gas a little bit. And as we conclude the third quarter, what a game. Neither yo, team yo. We're winning. We've got a great game on our hands as we welcome you back. The fourth quarter of action getting started. Chris Paul and J.J. Redick are the guards. Then there's Tony Snell. Then there's Monroe. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. To tie it up. And it's Freak with the rebound. The Warriors leading. Here's Hardaway, and it's Golden State with another. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. Here's Paul. Here's Haley. It's tipped. And here comes Livingston, leading the fast break. The oh, shit. Here's Snell, started by Green. Now the dish to Reddick. And he nails that one right through the net. Reddick's got 21. And it's the Warriors' ball. A two-point game. Here's Freak. That drops, and it comes off the assist from Livingston. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. The Clippers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Snell, guarded by Hardaway. Reddick with the bucket. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. Now here's Freak, defended by Paul. Here's Freak. Rebound by the Clippers. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. The pass to Snell. He's looking for Monroe and finds him to tie it up the Warriors pull it in Freak's got three rebounds so far in the game Hardaway passes to Freak and stolen by Reddick was that my fifth I'm not paying attention screen by Monroe now here's Reddick not a lot of room Snell dishes to Monroe just five on the clock. Paul with the three, and again, it's the Clippers from deep. He's starting to heat up from outside. That's his second this half. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Freak. Let's it go. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Freak's got five points now in the quarter. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark. Still anyone's ball game. Both teams really invested now. I mean, this is the type of game you, you love to win, and you'd hate to lose Oof. it. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Here's Reddick following the basket by Freak, and it's good. 
And the Clippers lead by one. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Livingston kicks the three. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. Some changes for Golden State. Clay Thompson comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And Curry subbed in for Sean Livingston. And the Clippers have possession. Spates sets a screen, feeds it to Griffin. Off the screen, Green with the block. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Top two three, Greg. Los Angeles has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Griffin passes to Miles. Now here's Reddick. Lock at six. Green with the rebound. Green's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Freak. And again, no good by Golden State. The Clippers trail. Paul kicks to Griffin. Another miss by Griffin. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Some nice passing by Golden State. Kept alive. Here's Muscala. And the shot counts. He's fouled. It's a chance for a three-point play. Good job here in the second half. They're doing a really solid job of pounding that ball inside. And they're being intentional about it. And that's the way you succeed, getting that ball inside. Full drummer. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Their defense has Fucking been hell, I missed a free throw, motherfucker. Closing out on shots and blocking a few as well. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. Spates. That was good. Hey, how about the perseverance there? The extra effort on that offensive glass. And stolen by Spates. Fuck. Down low. A shot by Griffin. Nobody around. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his fourth assist in this one. The Warriors have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting at even 50% from the field. That's short off the rim. Yeah, why? Reddit dishes to Paul. They don't even lose a game after game after game. I think they lose one one. Guarded close. Here's Reddit. And it's Freak with the rebound. Golden State's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Come on, fucker. Launches a three. The shot misses. <laughs> you gotta find another way to contribute, Kevin, besides looking to shoot the ball. I mean, you just can't get anything to bounce his way this quarter. So we've got to do other things. Griffin. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line. Fucking Clay Thompson. Griffin doing all sorts of things. He has eight points, and the steals are starting to pile up for him also. And Clark, he's really gotten into their heads because of it. I mean, guys are on the lookout for him, always worrying about where he is. 41 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Green kicks to three. And so what the fuck? Paul with the ball, and Curry picks him up defensively. Niles, that's for two. The shot is off, and it's the Warriors taking it the other way. A three-pointer would be huge right now. Boy, a chance to tie it up with the game on the line. This is what we live for. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Right good right shit. I tell you what, Steph Curry, somebody lit a fire under him. No threes, no twos, no let the motherfucker score. <laughs> Here's Paul. Oh. 
for the three. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is offline. Time expires, and we're going to overtime. We'll take a quick break. Those motherfuckers are hold on to the ball. We're going to let them get shot off. Well, if you're just joining, this one has been a great one. We've got... Hold on. I'll find out you later. Overtime action now, folks. So the Clippers win the tip. And away we go here with post-regulation basketball. Courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. Chris Paul and J.J. Redick are the guards. Griffin is out there with C.J. Miles. And it's Monroe in at the center. Dude, look up, motherfucker. Passes to Thompson. Here's Freak. Oh. Oh. Miles has got his third rebound tonight. He feeds it to Griffin. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Oh, here's Freak. Covered by Redding. There's Green with the three. Again, the miss by Green. Well, he's building a house with those. Damn, I fucking stopped missing. It's me off. I'm going to suck. You're holding too long. Yo, know, why you a fuck now? One reason is he can find to force it up when he's defended well. Move the ball, share the sugar. Let it with the bucket. God. We play just a little bit. I was too. Sounding in the God. Curry kicks to green. Here's Freak. From 13 feet, it goes down. Freak's You're down two. We had to beat these niggas, man. We only won one fucking game of the season. Well against Curry. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Thompson outside. They set the pick. Over in the corner, Green. And against the shot to fall after coming off the pick. <laughs> Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender right. didn't do his job as well as he could have. That's good. And the crowd roaring to life. That was a huge shot. And they're just about dancing in the aisles now. That was as big as it gets. They are definitely going to enjoy it. Come on! Things hating on me. Trade 2K hating on me. It's running on the wing. From outside the arc. But they'll get another chance. And Curry pulls it down. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Freak kicks to Curry. Green dishes to Freak. He nails it, and we're tied up. Oh, that's the shot of the game. Well, he was fearless enough to get it up and down, and it paid off for him. against Curry. Here's Griffin. They get it again. Monroe. And so he draws the foul on the shot. Why? To the line to shoot two. Why would you fucking do it in the field? Tonsler? What's up, zombie? No question. He got bombed going on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Two shots. So he gets them both, and it's a two-point ball game. And that's just clutch work, really. That's all you can say. A little bit of D now, and they'll be out of here with a win. Overtime has become do-or-die time. An empty possession here, and I think they're finished. Now, here's Green. Here's Freak. No good off the front iron. And it's out of bounds, and they say last touch by Griffin. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. He need three.
16 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing. There's Freak. No good from three-point territory. And now we've got the intentional foul. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order. You lost, dog. Uh, oh, shit. Seven, eight. I like that. I mean, They're going to hit both of them, dude. There ain't no damn way. Look for the NBA. We've been losing straight, dude. We've won one game, zombie. Look at my squad be holding up the fucking team. Oh, what do I call the time I ain't gonna do any good? It's the first and that makes it a three point lead. The second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a four point ball game. And, and that's curtains for him. Some yeah, that's curtains. Really we did. Charity strike to close this one out. Jacks up a three. Shot is off. Now how about the determination? Now that's what we call competing. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, much appreciated. And now let's present our George. J.J. Reddick. Just a monster first quarter of the game. He came out hot. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not soon enough. Damn, this team sucks. I'm gonna use the restroom.
I already completed my time with Golden State. I already got that. Yeah, I'm gonna go to practice. Sunday practice. Damn. Why? I could have done this in the last three seconds. That we would have won. I got my dunk in. <laughs> got stuck. Right, got trash. Fuck got in my way. Fuck. All right, let's get to a hoop. We got to be better at knocking down open shots. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. That was my first miss. 
second. Okay, we're good on the drills for now. Let's make sure we're getting better every day. Such crap. Get on my way out of God with you trash. Where motherfucker? Where's Curry? Come on, dunk that night, nigga. Where's Curry? Wrong for the day. Finish practice. Practice, practice. I'm gonna trade teams if I lose. Y'all lose me this game. Go play with LeBron. Players don't be mean like this. Scrap. Nacho Mama, offline. So many games we've won. <clears throat> One. One game. Oh, fuck. fuck. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Ernie Johnson welcoming you to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm here with Shaq and the Jet. Tonight, we'll see the Golden State Warriors as they play against the San Antonio Spurs. Well, for San Antonio, they'd like to play well to start this season series. They haven't forgotten how this team knocked them out in the first round last season. Let's talk about Klay Thompson. Uh, one of the best wings in the NBA. Might be the most complete shooting guard in the league. Most complete? What do you think? I would have to say most complete. And, you know, what I really like about his game, especially playing next to Steph Curry, you know, when you play with a guy that has a little bit more, you tend to steal a little bit what they're doing. So, you know, his ball handling is definitely getting better. He can help with the playmaking duties. But what I love about this guy, he can score in a variety of ways. Uh, his defense can be stifling at times, too. I mean, it, oh, he's he a great two-way player. He's a two-way player. But I, I don't know if I would give him the best two-guard yet uh, in the NBA. But 
He's in the rear view mirror of anybody who considered that, and James Harden mm. probably would be the guy. Stop over. it. He's better than James. Cut it I, out. I, I tell you, he, James Harden carries teams, and Clay Thompson is on a team to they help. Won a championship. Sponsorship to G2A. That's all. That is all. Uh, that's a good point. Uh, here's Kevin Harlan. Twitter. Twitch. Hello and thanks for joining us, 2K Sports fans, for another exciting presentation of NBA Basketball. With Greg Anthony and Clark Hill. This is Kevin Harlan. We can have Doris Burks on the sideline as well. Last game for the Warriors, the loss to the Clippers in Los Angeles. And just couldn't finish strong. They took a four-point loss in that one. And you know what? A shame that either team had to lose that game because you had to be proud of the way they battled in it. Yeah, I suppose that's right, but it still was heartbreaking. I mean, you hate to lose an OT no matter how hard you played. You want to come out on top if you're going to play those extra minutes. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Aldridge out there with Jared Sullinger. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then there's Lewis Williams. And it's Parker in at the point. And that one's good. Free. Excellent feed from Steph Kerr. Here are the Spurs with the ball. It's a five-point game. Last game matchup with the Suns. A, a tough loss there. Yeah, not a very inspired performance for them, particularly when they were defending. They just gave that hostile crowd plenty to cheer for. Yeah, they allowed a lot of free runs to the hoop, a lot of open jump shots, and in the end, the opponent's shooting percentage was through the roof. You can't win if your defense isn't better than that. Here's Curry following the score by Lou Williams. On the wing, Thompson. He dishes it to Freak from the arc. Jared Sollinger yeah. pulls it in. And San Antonio has possession. Parker passes to Leonard. Feeds to Sollinger. Spurs passing it around. Parker kicks to Sollinger. Shot clock at five. Aldridge against Green. Aldridge can't get it to go. The Warriors have gone two or three here to start off the game. Outside Curry. Now here's Freak. Defense is right there. Fires it up. No luck. Great D that time from Leonard. The Spurs have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Williams kicks to Leonard. Offensive rebound, Spurs. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. He's gonna have that. About the purpose with which he's crashing the backboard right now. Some hard-earned second chance points. Golden State's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter to the right side. Outside Green, nailed from three-point land. Green's got his first three points of the game. How in the world did they let him get that wide open? To the middle. It's stolen by Bogut. Now the Warriors moving it up. Here's Thompson. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Well, that's why they're on the lead. Aggressive play at both ends. Very nicely done there. Absolutely. They make the steal. Pay dividends instantly on the fast break. Now here's Parker. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Suns in Phoenix. And boy, did he have it going offensively. He lived at the line during that Focus. game as well, and that, that's where he got a lot of those points. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. They've set the first half tone by getting out on the fast break and getting the defenders on their heels. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. And the Warriors making a change here. Muscal is checked in. Olenek is checked in for the Spurs. Green comes in for Lou Williams. Now Green following the miss by Draymond Green from deep. Parker outside. 
Back to green. Oh, that's my part. That's my man. That's good. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. There's Freak. And again, no good by Golden State. For San Antonio, they've gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Olenek can't hit. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Curry dishes to Freak. Muscala, the pass to Thompson. Here's Freak. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. San Antonio trailing here. A minute 50 left in the first quarter of the game. Parker kicks to Leonard. Here's Olenek. And off the left side of the rim. And it swirls in for him. Olenek got his first points of the game. A chance now to see the numbers for Olenek, how he performed last season. Last season, 11 points per game, six rebounds, and two assists. And really, for him, Somebody. it's about putting in the work and improving his game. Yeah, and I think he wants to. It's one of those things where you either want it or you don't, and he does. Barnes, he's checked in for the Warriors. Hardaway comes in for Curry. The Spurs also changing it up. Josh McRoberts is checked in for Aldridge. Robert Covington comes in for Leonard. And D.J. Augustine subbed in for Parker. Well, I think he kind of alligator armed that one. Short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. The Spurs have gone 4 of 10 shooting the ball here in the first quarter. The dish now to McRoberts. Green, the pass to Olenek. Warriors with the rebound. Freak's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Barnes. No what? And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Take the control of Augustine. And Olenek kicks to Covington. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Warriors have gone 6 and 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Barnes can't get it to go. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. And Green gets it to go. Just the height separation on that mid range jumper. Excellent job of taking advantage. Freak kicks to Green. It's on the pass. Coming up again. Where am I? Covington dishes the longest game. Oh, oh. Green with the block. Here's Freak. And he makes it look mm. easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And that is a major league flush right there, my friends. Hold on.
just like this, Greg, that might be. And a chance to hear from Tony Parker, who said he lives for the challenge of continuing. I always try to improve and, and get better. And in Tony Parker's case, great is one. And Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. On the court for San Antonio. The always reliable Parker and Green in the backcourt. Robert Covington out there with Josh McRoberts. And it's Olenek in at the five spot. Here's Covington. Again, the miss by the Spurs. The Warriors trail. And let's now go to the sideline. We'll catch up here with Doris Burke. Doris? Well, Kev. There it is.
finish though. Freak in the last matchup against the Clippers played some outstanding basketball. He ended up with 35 points and was on the mark from deep, draining several threes. Perhaps a performance like this can get his team on the same page and turn around their fortunes. All right, thanks, Doris. He's got a lot of positives to take away from that game. He, he really does. It was one of his better performances, and, and that's saying something because we've seen this guy have a lot of good ones. And you'd have to imagine that he'll be out to build on it, to go one better here tonight. And I like that they're not settling, getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Parker kicks to McRoberts. And the wide open shot from Green. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Green's got the game tied up here for the Spurs. Golden State's gone one of six from three point land in the second quarter, less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. Move the ball. Stick it Green the left side. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. Not a very good job of the defender getting over the top of that screen in that particular play. Parker passes to McRoberts. There's Green with the three. That's good. Green's got ten. This is a tremendous solo run he's on. I mean, the kind we've seen him have so many times before. From downtown, they get a bet. Passes it to Drake. Here's Freak. Misses the three. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Parker with it. Picked up by Thompson. Parker dishes to Olenek. The three-pointer no good. The Warriors shooting 43% from the floor. And a wide-open look for Freak. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. 14 points for Freak. There is no way. No way a player like him can be left wide open like that. Did you pay attention to the scouting report? About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Covington. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Thompson outside. Shot from 12. And it comes off the front of the rim. Do it. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. The Warriors on top, up two. And now we'll send it down to Doris Burke, who's standing by courtside. Yes, Kevin, thank you. I'm with Clay Thompson. What's working and what's not working for you guys out here tonight? You know, they clogged the lane and uh, they play great hell defense. Uh, we got to keep uh, driving and kicking. Get over a crawl link. Great job sharing the ball. And we just play ourselves. It will be great in the second half. Thank you, Clay. We so appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, Doris. And we'll be back for the third quarter. What's your mama's off? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last basketball game for tonight, yep. Jake Snowball. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. You look at Freak in this game, he has been everywhere. Yeah, you know, one of the things about the truly greats of our game is that sometimes you get spoiled because of how consistent they can be. And so far, another big scoring night for him. And oftentimes when he puts up that many points in the first half, he follows it up with an even better second half. We'll see if that's the case here. The defensive stalwarts, Green and Bogut, are down low. Freak is out there with Curry. And it's Thompson in at the three slot. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup. So I'd agree with you there, Greg. Leonard hits them both. Steady work at the free throw line. Just what we're used to seeing out of him. Warriors leading by three. They set the screen. Curry attacking. Rebound San Antonio. 
And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away empty, but they got the look they wanted, and really, I, I've been, I like the movement and communication there. Mm. Boy, that was a thing of beauty by Parker. Here's Freak. He's got 17. From deep. Excellent D there from Williams. The Spurs shooting 39% from the floor at their best. And the pass to Parker. The shot by Sellinger wide open. They get the rebound. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Oh, uh, man, we make a fucking break on the foul. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on the roll, and it carried over to the rest of the mm. team. Smith checked in for Golden State. D.J. Augustine's checked in for San Antonio. And stolen by Freak. Pass to Green. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. That's what I'm talking about, Clay. That's what I'm talking about. The Splash Brothers. Been a real weapon for them in the second half. Yeah, they, they've really done a good job of creating good looks from the outside, and now they've really got a good. Here's Aldridge. And it's Freak with the rebound. Freak's got his fifth rebound. Oh, fuck. Stop, Clay. What the fuck? Unloads from nine. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Now it's a four-point Warrior lead. Spurs have gone one of three since starting the second half. It's the lowest game. Augustine against Curry. Outside Williams. Puts up a three. Oh, we got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. See, it's going to be on Freak. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. Yeah, unnecessary. I mean, make them earn those points from deep. Don't give them to them free at the line. And the Warriors with some changes. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Smith. Hardaway is subbed in for Thompson. And he nails the third. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Over to the wing. Here's Freak. And Fremont Green picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And here's Augustine. Damn, Jamon Green. So far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's Aldridge. And he gets the bucket. That was my fault with the fucking five three changes on. now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, each side having a tough time staying in front. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. You know, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Selinger, no good. Golden State's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Three-pointer Augustine. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got three assists now in this one. Warriors have gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. And again, no good by Golden State. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. There's a screen off the pick. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Aldridge, no good. Curry with some nice D. Warriors trail by four. 
to stop the run, and he nails the jumper. Ooh, could have hit it there. She's really pissed. Last year's Warriors and where they ranked in the NBA. A chance to check that out now, Kevin. First and fewest turnovers per game. First in opponent offense. And they showed up in the top five in three-point percentage. That's elite level when you talk about knocking down threes. And I want to go back to that turnover ranking. Best in the NBA. That's a huge stat to look at when you talk about their ability to execute and the decision making. They don't beat themselves. And that's a big reason why they won as much as they did. And Curry with the clear path to the hoop. And there's Hardaway. That's good on the assist by Curry. Curry's got six assists now in the game. That's a quick I got two. There. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we can see right there why he does. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. These are the players who had the most success from deep last season. Clay Thompson third, the fourth spot held by Kawhi Leonard. What shooting we saw from them all season. I mean, I'd love to see these guys in a game of horse. They'd probably be draining shots from midcourt. Andrew Bogut checked in for Steph Curry. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Nick Roberts has checked in. And here's Covington from the arc. And good. Coming in on the assist by DJ Augustine. That's two bombs in a row from long range. Let's face it, the defense is a step slow. You've got to take away the airspace. Olinick with the steal. Oh, my God. Hardaway against Green. Pass to Covington. There's the three. It's rebounded by Golden State. Bogut's got the three rebounds now in this one. There's Freak. Off target with his three. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics. Well, at least as I look at it. Green gets deflected. They have a two-for-one situation if they go quick. Yeah, I don't think they have to rush, though, Greg. Just need to find a good shot this time. Here's Freak. And again, I didn't mean to shoot that. Warriors missing. San Antonio leading by three. White block shot. Augustine against Hardaway. And Augustine kicks to Covington. And he banks in the layup. Covington's got five. Now here's Freak. Got it off in time, but... Oracle Arena, let's keep it going for your Warriors girls. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. Again for Harrison Barnes. Robert Covington's checked in for the Spurs. Green comes in for Tony Parker. On the court for San Antonio. Robert Covington out there with Green. That's a and there's LaMarcus Aldridge, and it's Leonard in at the three slot. Covington passes to Green, kicks it to Sullinger. He feeds it to Covington. Off the screen, kept alive. Here's Leonard, Green with the block. And there's the feed to Kirk. Thompson, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Tony Parker's checked in for Green. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Spurs. From mid-range, it's been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. 
And I also love the way they move the basketball. Their passing has been outstanding here in the second half. Six on the shot clock. Takes it out to Leonard. Again, Leonard missing. Frozen. The guy is just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. There's Freak. But they recover it. Thompson dishes to Bogut. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Time dropping delights is what I call it. I, yeah, that is a nice pass. I will give you that one. Yeah, he's on the money, that's no doubt. The Warriors have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Back to Curry to take the lead. That's good. Curry's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Warriors. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. Yeah, they can't guard us on the perimeter. Spread the floor. Fast break. He's sucking. Equally as effective all night long. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Guys, thank you. I got a chance to hear what Greg Popovich was saying to his team. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time I got to kick card. in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be going all out full speed. Guys? Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Hardaway with the steal. And he finished it off with the lane. And the Warriors lead by one. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. And that one's good. 13 points for LaMarcus Aldridge. Time running low, guys, and uh, somebody has got to win this one. This game, as close as it's been, you really hate to see it come to an end. I agree. Yeah, well, who knows? We might need overtime in this one. It's been that kind of a game. Parker kicks to Leonard. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Misses the target. That drops him to 40% now. Four of ten. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really a leading three. Offline with his three. Oh, boy, I tell you what. They don't get much uglier than the quarter he's having. Yeah, and it's not showing any signs, Greg, of turning around here soon. I mean... There's a fucking basically gone AWOL. Three foul foul, foul I did. Parker is going for the juggler. Guys, this possession could decide their fate. So that means they've got to be very careful with They're the basketball shit. right now. You look at the stats for free. 19 points, and from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Well, when he squared himself up and got in good looks, he's knocked him down. And both free throws good from Freak. Oh, fuck. Let's throw down one. Parker. We can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, you got the lead. Burn some clock here. Smart move. Yep. Aldridge against Green. It's stolen by Bogut. Outside Hardaway. Right wing. There's Freak. Well, I want to lose. It's our time. It's our time. We are so close to closing this one out. Freak, you're the hot hand. So let's get him the ball. Parker outside. This would tie it. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. That was a fun mm. night of basketball and fabulous finish as Clark they continued to wait out until the very last yeah, moment to seal. Yep, and it might. Whew. 
Thank you, Kevin. Stefan, with a nice win following a tough loss last time out, was there a lesson you learned about yourselves and how you played differently tonight? Yeah, for sure. Just make the easy play. Um, and, and share the ball. That's when we're really good. We have a lot of talent on this team. And if we get everybody involved, and, and that's what, whatever it takes to win tonight, we got to get it done. Steph, great job tonight. Nice win. Kevin, over to you. Doris, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Cl the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Projected by 90% threes. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present hey, our me. Jordan player of the game, Freak. Oh, it is me. Just a monster it's me. First quarter of the game. He came out hot and just never cooled down. That boost he gave his team early on a huge factor. They asked an awful lot from him tonight offensively, and he delivered. When they needed a big bucket, he was the guy they turned to, and he delivered, like I said. I mean, this guy was unbelievable. He did not shy away from the moment. Seeing Freak dominate the way he did tonight reminded me of watching him play in high school. He was a man among boys. He was a four-time consensus All-American back then. Overall, great. And that'll do it for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our... What's up, buddy? What's up, zombie? <laughs> I'm up. What do you do? Hmm. Yeah, you never, you never uh, linked it to your YouTube channel, did you? Oh, I'm going to wait to... I'm going to wait to... Because I'm... It's all about by itself. And I'm... And I'm trying to... You haven't told me how to link to G2A. I sent you a referral link. I'm going to play some relations. You want to play with me? Uh, I'm gonna join basketball. No matter how much bad we're losing. Oh, zombie left. This up, big boss. I'm playing basketball. Let's see who's not still not interested. And Phoenix doesn't want me to do seven percent interest because I'll beat it. That's why. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm about to go ahead to uh, 